I just heard on the radio a court ruling about minority businesses that is ridiculous. The court ruled that the Minority Business Development Agency of the federal government no longer has to just uh, qualify minorities. They must also accept applications from white women and others. So they've essentially <laughs> on the radio a court ruling about minority businesses that is ridiculous. The court ruled that the Minority Business Development Agency of the federal government no longer has to just uh, qualify minorities. They must also accept applications from whites, women, and others. So they've essentially uh, eliminated the business development agencies that help small minority businesses around the country. And guess what? So far, the Biden administration said they're not going to appeal. You know, this, they, they eliminate the quality educations in the inner city, putting us at a disadvantage, then don't want to give us a hand up with affirmative action, eliminated that. Now, knowing that they don't help finance black businesses around the country, now you're going to eliminate the federal program that does help with that. I mean, what's the deal here? They've taken back everything that black folks have fought for, just like they did back after slavery during the Reconstruction. And guess what 90% of black people are thinking? Man, we got to vote Democrat, man, to fix this. <laughs> Press one. 97% of black people are thinking, man, we got to vote, man. Everybody get out and vote, man, because this shit ain't right, man. V vote for Biden. <laughs> they taking all our privileges away, man. Goddamn Trump. <laughs> the fact that this basically is an endorsement for Biden, even though he's not endorsing Biden, in the black psyche, in the black mind's eye, we hear, oh, shit, man. We got to get out and vote, man, in November, man. They taking all our stuff away, man. We got to get out and vote for Democrats. Education's in the inner city, putting us out of... To quote Scott Adams, there's no fixing this. Press one disadvantaged then don't want to give us a hand up with affirmative action eliminated that now knowing that they don't help finance black businesses around the country now you're going to eliminate the federal program that does help with that i mean what's the deal here they've taken back everything that black folks have fought for just like they did back after slavery during the reconstruction era we had Black banks, we had the Freedmen banks, we had uh, black politicians, black Congress folks, Supreme Court. That were all Republican. All the black congressmen were Republican, every single one of them. Court came in, a conservative Supreme Court, Supreme Court, and eliminated all of that. And unfortunately, that's what we're seeing now. We got to continue to fight, folks. Don't. He's blaming all these issues on the conservative Supreme Court. 